Hey YouTube, super exciting day today. Hopefully we could drive the cave truck around soon. This should be the last video before we're ready. But you can see the seatbelt is not retracting and it is quite stuck. Never had this happen before in a car. Let's do some research and see if we can fix it. Okay, we are gonna split this up into two videos. Supposedly a slow retracting seatbelt we can wash and it will retract a little bit faster. I've noticed the Outback doing this, so let's make that video real quick. But for this video, it is completely stuck, so we'll have to take it apart and see what we're dealing with. The good news is we are able to access it with the seat moved forward a little bit and the seatbelt looks pretty easy to take off with a hex. But the bad news is I have a 10 that is way too small. Next size up is a 17 that's too big. It is between this size here and this one but now we get to do my favorite part and that is to go shopping we are back from harbor fright i already have these tecton half and three eighth drive so i was deciding on which one to get ended up going with these. My goals with tools are to get the cheaper stuff and whichever one breaks, I will upgrade that to the nicer stuff. Let's get back to work. That was pretty easy to take off. Now we have to figure out which side to take apart first. I think this side's okay because it clicks and this side is the one we're gonna start with. It says do not remove, but we're gonna remove it. This black piece came off pretty easily. It was only held in by these two little pieces of plastic. My understanding of this is everything works normally. There's a little loose ball bearing here for when an accident happens, it will engage the teeth. And normally it is not engaged and this will spin smoothly and then we can pull to engage it again and the ball bearing will just float there. So I think this side works normally. We're gonna take the other side apart and see if we could figure out what's wrong. I think I figured it out. This side is very simple. There's a metal coil in here under tension and was held in similar to other side with these two little plastic pieces. When I took it apart, it looked something like this with the metal C-shaped part there, not engaged into this slot here. So when I put everything back, I think it should work. Let's reassemble. That 
That took a few tries to get all the coils going and I needed to use a clip to hold the seat belt in place. Let's put everything back and hope it works. I can't believe that worked. I was expecting something to be broken inside and I would have to buy replacement parts, but we have a <laughs> fully functional seatbelt. I can't wait to start driving. Video number 194, done.